So I got I got it as minus two minus a minus four. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, so the double negative becomes a positive minus oh, two. Oh right, plus. I forgot about that. Okay, um, what about y minus a I absolute two, value? so equal to. They're equal, yeah. Okay, let's try, let's try another one here. All right. And by the way, I didn't I didn't mean anything negative about how we started about the whole math nerd thing. That was just a silly joke here. Um, let's do uh, b times x plus c c minus a times y. Greater than. Okay, right, tell me the value of b times x plus c. Four. Four and what, c minus a times y. One. It is one. Good. Okay. Let's do. Uh, let's do one more. Z minus x. Sorry, let me not do that. Z minus x at absolute value divided by negative y, c minus a, divided by uh, y plus x. Um, less than. Okay, tell me the values you got on the left and the right, please. Um, I got negative two on the left and then negative one on the right. That is correct. Okay. Good. All right. Um, I want you to give me all the possible ways to write five minus three that you still get two. You have to use, you have to somehow use a positive five and a negative three. Is there another way to write this to get positive two? And if you know, have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll give you an example. So like we can change up the numbers? No, I'm asking you to reuse these numbers. Um, let, me, let me just do this one for you. So minus three plus five, it's still two. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you kind of understand what I'm asking now? Yeah. All right. So how about a six plus negative seven equals one? Is there another way to write that? Um. Seven sorry, plus nine. Sorry, seven. sorry, negative one. Sorry, give me the wrong oh. Negative seven plus six. Okay, very good. All right. Um, so, what is the value of two x squared? If x equals negative three. Mm. 
Negative 18. So you, you have to treat the variable like it's in parentheses, and that's where the number goes. So you actually square first. Square the negative three. I negative guess. three times negative oh, three. Oh, no, wait. I forgot to change it to a normal, um, to a positive. So that would be okay. 18. It would be 18. Okay. All right. What is the value of 5x minus x squared if x equals negative 1? Negative 6. So we have 5 times negative 1 minus a minus 1 squared. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Good. Okay. All right. So let me... Uh, I mean, did you find this review fairly easy? Yeah. Is this consistent with what you expect to see? Um, pretty much, yeah. She said okay. that the formula was going to look like this, so. It's not going to be like harder or, you know, like weirder. Maybe, but I don't know. Well, that, that I, I would like to know, because like, I, I don't want to make problems more difficult than, they, than this. I like, think I'm only doing that. I would assume they would probably be more difficult. Okay. All right, well, just be careful with that. You might you might find that that, that could be a problem. Let's say it drops, um, let's say it, it drops, uh, Sixty dollars <laughs> in uh twelve hours. Twelve hours. So what's the price per day drop? It's a little bit different. Still price per day, but it's in twelve hours. Negative one hundred twenty hours. Uh, price per day is is going to be dollars. Yeah, negative one hundred twenty. Okay. So yeah, you can either say drop one hundred and twenty dollars per day, or like you said, minus one twenty per day. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do a few more of these evaluation problems. Let's say uh, say x equals minus 2. What is uh, 3x squared minus 4x, please? Four. Three times parentheses negative two squared minus four times negative two. Does that let, does that look at all like what you have? Um yes. Okay, so you square. Negative two squared is four. Three times four is twelve. Negative four minus two is plus eight. I think you lost a sign there. Oh different. yeah, I lost a sign. Okay. All right, we'll come back to that. Um I'll just sprinkle those in throughout. This looks like something that's you'll get clear. You'll get you'll get figured out. Okay, so let's let's write these fractions as a decimal. Are you allowed to use a calculator? Yes. You are. Well, that's not very helpful. I mean, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Like that's okay. It's good to know. Um, so let's look at uh. Well, never mind. So, if a fraction ends in two, is it repeating or non-repeating? Uh, what do you mean? Well, go ahead and put this in your calculator. What is the what is the decimal equivalent of this? The what equivalent? Deci decimal equivalent. Oh, that's 0.5. 0 0.5. So see how it's terminating? So the does it um so the, this one is it's considered terminating is probably the better word. How about uh one third? Point three repeating. 
but this is a repeating. Yeah, I know. I said point three repeating. Right. So I'm making I'm making a list here. What about one fourth. Point twenty five. So that's that's terminating. What about one fifth? Um. Jeez. One tw point twenty. Okay, so that goes and this is how about one sixth? Which uh, which list does it go in? Um, it goes in repeating. Okay. How about one seventh? It goes in neither. So one seventh does not repeat. Is that what the thing? Yeah. All right. Let me. I don't know that I agree with that. Let me check here. Uh, uh, it does repeat. It just takes a while. Um, it, it's actually repeating. Um, how about one eighth? Uh, one eighth. Point one two five. Okay, so that's terminating. About one ninth. Repeating. Okay. One tenth goes up here. Well, how about one eleventh? Repeating. Um, so how about one twelfth? Where do you think that goes? Repeating. Yeah, so you you start noticing a pattern here. See how it's three, six, nine, twelve, and then it's the odds, right? It's seven, eleven. Now, what do you think? Where do you think one over thirteen is gonna go? Um, it might be the actually. This one's hard to see. It is repeating. Um, All right. So it, it, you actually, and you can go a bit further, 114th repeats. Uh, do 115th for us, please. Repeating. Yep. So you find there's actually fewer and fewer that end up terminating. I think the next one's like 120th. So most of them just don't work, most of them are repeating. So when you get a problem, we had ask it whether it's repeating or non-repeating. Kind of know based on the pattern here, but if you got a calculator, you could just you can just check. Of course, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now I don't know if you get, I don't see any on here, but do you know how to turn a fraction? Like let's say I say it's point one seven repeating. Do you know how to turn that into a fraction? No. It does not look like it's covered on your test. So I don't know if we need to do this, but do you think we should? Um, I don't think so, because I never had that. <laughs> we Fair never enough. had Yeah, and that's what I'm asking, because I don't I don't, so don't want to, you know, use time on stuff that you don't need help on. All right. All right let me pull up another problem here. I'm just gonna change the numbers real quick. So let's say it's uh Four and a six, three and the third, five and one half. Can you calculate the perimeter of fourth, please? Wait. Yeah, thirteen. All right. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't include units, but there would normally be units here. Okay. Pretty good. Um, I'm gonna change the numbers here. All right. 
Six and a seventh feet tall. Actually, you know what? I changed. I'm sorry. This problem is designed differently. Let me let me do this differently. Sorry, that's not going to go up. Uh, five and a third and uh, six and a half. Let's do that. One and one sixth. So you, you, you subtract, right? Six and one half minus five and one third. And you said one and one sixth. Oh, it's supposed to be inches. Um. Well, that's your answer on feet, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to convert to inches. Um. And actually, the interesting thing is your answer is actually all on feet, but yeah, you want to convert to inches. 14 inches. That's correct. All right, very good. All right, let's do some fractions. Let's go. Um, let's go like five eighths divided by one half. Do you remember how to do this? Yes. Okay. One and one fourth. Um, yes. So, you know, if you're supposed to answer in mixed number, improper, it doesn't matter. Um, it needs to be in mixed. Okay. So let's go nine sixteenths divided by three fourths. Let's try this one. Three fourths. Oh no. This becomes nine sixteenths times four thirds. Are you multiplying across or are you pre reducing the fraction? Um, I pre reduced. Very good. All right. So let's do uh, let's go uh, three and uh, five six times negative. Two and uh, and fourth. This is a multiplication problem. Number inside parentheses is negative. Eight and five eighths. Uh, how, how did you come up with that? Um, I'm ne sorry, negative eight and five eighths. Okay, that's slightly better. Um, did you multiply? Yeah. Did you convert these to improper fractions first, or what did you do? I converted, yeah. Okay. Can you tell me what your first improper fraction is? Um, my first improper fraction was. It was 23 sixths. Okay. The second one? Negative nine fourths. Okay. Did you pre reduce the nine and six? Yes. Okay. And then uh, did you um, then just convert it to a mixed? Okay. Works for me. All right, so let me, uh... all right, so Connie jogged, uh, let's let's say she's a really good runner. She went uh, 15 miles in uh, 
Uh, let's make it reasonable here. Let's say she went in uh, one and a third hours. What was her average rate? Eleven and one fourth. Correct. Excuse me, eleven point two five miles per hour as well. Okay, that was supposed to be more difficult, but you do that really fast. All right. So a squirrel. If you like cats, cats are pretty quick in short distances. Um, let's say the cat can can climb a. Uh, Six. Well, I think she's climbing a real tree. Hmm. You can climb a. Well, let's say she can climb a. I don't know, twenty-four feet per minute. So, how many inches per second can she uh, travel? They can, um, I feel like I did that wrong. Hold on. You got to convert feet to inches. Ah, uh, I know what I did wrong. Okay. Multiply it by seconds first. Four point eight feet per second. No, that's uh, should be it should be inches per second. I mean that might be the right number, but did you uh oh wait, oops. I think it's inches per second. Yeah, it is four point eight. Um so okay. Um try try something else. Let's say uh She's a different animal. Say, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what climbs. Anyway, monkey. Monkey can climb. Um, Twelve. Oh, sorry. Then we shouldn't use that. Let's go seven hundred fifty feet per minute. That's not, it's sort of outrageous. Let's list, uh, well, whatever. Pick a different animal. Some animal can do that. Um, how many inches per second? So let's have you do one more of these conversions, please. One hundred fifty inches per second. Yeah, very good. Right. All right. So Adrian drove. Uh, it's unrealistic. Let's say he went uh, three hundred twenty-five miles per gallon on sixteen gallons. That's more likely these days. And uh, actually, this doesn't work out. It, and you're, you're sure you're allowed to use a calculator because, like, I'm I'm picking out numbers that seem to work out nicely. So, yeah. 
Use a calculator. Um, let's do it differently. Let's say he drives a, a slightly better vehicle, four, 440 miles on 16 gallons of gas. He's on the interstate for cheap. Yeah. Let's do that one, please. Twenty-seven point five. Yeah, and that's units of miles per gallon on that. Okay, good. All right. Um, my question for you is: so I know I know how difficult of one to give you. Um, when you did nineteen, did you write a formula or did you just keep writing them out? Um, I. I did like a calculator math, um, and then I also wrote it out just to be sure. But okay, yeah, because that's that's kind of my question. Do we need to cover the formula, or do you think you just would write out the terms? It depends on how many. I mean, if I ask for the if I ask for the eighteenth uh, term, you might not want to write out that many. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's uh, let's say I ask you for the. Um, Sixth term of three comma minus five comma minus thirteen comma so on. Negative 42. Okay. And you did you just write out a bunch of terms? Mm -mm. What formula did you get then for it? Negative 7 times 6. For your formula? Yeah. Okay. Um, how did you come up with that? Because each time you went back, I'm just realizing it was eight. It is it is negative eight. And uh yeah, that only works if you know so the formula is a n equals n plus sorry a one plus n minus one times d. And if you've never seen that before, that's okay, but I'm that's that is the formula. I would I guess I was just gonna suggest you write out some terms. Negative thirty-seven. Yeah. Now, do, now, do you know this formula? Or have you seen that before? No. Okay. Okay. Could you simplify this for us, please? Three. Okay. Negative um, three. Which one? Negative three. Negative three, yeah. Good. Okay. A little better that time. All right. All right. So I want you to simplify minus nine y plus three plus six y minus one. Three, negative three y plus two. Okay, good. Make it a little bit harder here. Simplify. Try that for us, please.
negative 14x minus um, 4, negative 4. So you got to be careful. Uh, if you said minus, minus 4, that can be interpreted differently, but this, this is correct, which I think that's what you meant. So up on that. All right. Um, did you get, let me see, there's more complicated examples in this. That's why I'm, you know, really hesitant to like give you more difficult ones. Um, when, do, when is your final again, if you don't mind telling me? It's on Wednesday. Okay. So it'd be really, really good to find out. Then we got, well, we got some lessons tomorrow. Um, it would just be good to know. It really would, would help. So um, I'll leave that decision to you. All right. Um, okay. So uh, this really should say expand or multiply. It's so like number 22. It'd be like negative 5 times a 4x plus 3. That's in parentheses. Any idea how to reduce that? Yes. Negative 20x minus 15. Very, very good. Okay. Which car has the best miles per gallon? So we got car, <laughs> mileage, and gallons. <laughs> so we got car A, B, and C. Car A went 400 miles on 13 gallons. Car B went 250 miles on seven gallons, car C went 100 miles on 4.5 gallons. What do you want me to round to? Whatever you want. You get to decide. If you're only comparing, I only care about the answer. I don't care like how much it actually is, just which one was the best. Herbie. Herbie. Okay. All right. Um and by the way, what was its MPG? What? What did you get for that? Um, I got that it was 36 miles per gallon. Okay. All right. So let's talk about factoring. Factor 4x minus uh, 12. So you're going to factor a number out of both? X minus 3. 4 times X minus 3. Good. Let's try another one here. Let's ask you to factor 8X minus 6. Four x minus three. What number goes on the outside? That's also important. Two. Two. Yeah. So you have to give me that number two times parentheses four x minus three. Good. So have you factor negative uh, fifteen x minus nine? A couple of ways to do this. I think would be acceptable.
three parentheses five x plus three. So this one you actually have to factor out a negative three from both. Yeah, I did. And, Sorry, okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't hear it. So it should be five x plus three. I think maybe you said that. Okay. Great. Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Sometimes I don't hear everything, and uh, I do apologize because that's not my intent. Oh, yeah, on something that you did correctly. Okay, let's try uh, solving now. Let's ask you to solve uh, one sixth x equals two thirds. X equals four. X equals four, good. All right, let's solve. Uh, let's go uh, one fourth X equals uh, negative five eighths. X equals negative five. Nope. Try again. You're multiplying both sides by four. The time it doesn't comes negative twenty over eight. I did, but I cross cancel. Okay, yeah, so uh, oh, I forgot two over there. Oh, X equals negative two and one half. Okay, that's better. Let's go uh, one third x equals uh, negative uh, 15 over nine. X equals negative five. Good. All right, let's try one more here. Let's see here. Uh, negative two and one half X equals 18. Negative x equals negative 45. So this is negative 5 over 2x equals 18. Did you multiply by the reciprocal? Yeah. It'd be negative 36 oh, over 5. Switch it. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Um, it would be negative 7 and 1 sixth. Uh, yeah, 1 fifth. Okay, uh, let's try one more. Go four and one third act equal twenty four. X equals six. So it's uh, 13 over three. 
that look right to you? Um, no, I got 12. Oh, geez, Louise. So yeah, this yeah. one actually doesn't work out very nicely. It ends up just being 72 over 13, which is, well, whatever it is. It's not that nice. It's uh, five and something, seven thirteenths. Okay, we're going to stop there for today. I'll uh, get more on this tomorrow. So.